Hi, welcome to Matt Connerton Unleashed. Who's this? I'm very most happy to be calling. I am one of Mr. Glenn's sons. Papa Glenn oh. asked me to call today of my birthday. Oh, wonderful. My name Who is, it? is Aruba, Jamaica. I oh, I want to take down. you from Muda, well, Bahama. Put... Come on, pretty mama, Rami. But you can call me Rami. Oh, Rami. Hey, listen, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, John Hopwood didn't have his headphones on. Can you repeat that, your your name, so he can... He can hear your name as well. We want to raw make- meat. My name, my daddy, Daddy Glenn, call me raw meat, but my real name is Jamal Aruba, Jamaica. Oh, I want to take you Bermuda, Bahama. Come on, pretty mama, raw meat. Oh, very Romney. nice. Romney, I like. Is he member of but the? But he called me Daddy Glenn. Call me raw meat. He Ra- loves to really oh, talk meat. about his meat, and he calls me little meat. He loves his little meat. Daddy Glenn does. Wow. So is that what we should call? Is that what we should call you for short? Uh, just uh, little meat. How about little meat? Little meat. L i. Now he just, he just L. started up Glenn mm. School in Shelter for twelve to eighteen year old orphan boys. Yes. Uh, you have to be. Actually, it's not orphan though. We all have parents. For some reason, he adopts us when we have mommies and daddies. I've noticed that. About well, that's him. A, that's what you call American Initiative. You know, thinking outside yeah. of and the we have, box. Uh, and Glenn always Special thinks deal today, outside by of the, the way, box. For his yes. store. He has, Glenn's store has soccer equipment. Oh. Now, we only sell shirts because Glenn doesn't like us to wear pants. Oh, they and we're doing you. a buy one, get one free on soccer balls. <laughs> so Glenn wants you to get two balls today from him. Oh, very nice. It, now, can you tell us, uh, I mean, I mean, the store is in Ghana, so it's a little far for us to drive. Hopefully we can order these things online. But... By the way, the only store in the entire uh, country of Ghana, the, the Gold Coast, where they speak Swahili. That's not one of the languages used in, in Ghana. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Oh, well, you didn't. Well, th- do you speak uh, Swahili, uh, little me? But how you know what you want to you want to you want to you want to Daddy Glenn. Wow. I just said I love my daddy Glenn. Wow. Glenn has done a lot for me. I'm 42 years old, but he's done a lot for me. Well, you well from what I see the pictures, uh, you don't look like you're you're over 26 or 7 years old. Are those actually your pictures? The one with the uh, Glenn, naked chest oiled and all that? Oh, did, I daddy Glenn you. like me to wear oil because he says I need to protect my skin here in uh, in Africa because there's a lot of Daddy Glenn also confused me because Daddy Glenn talks a lot about bears and something about, like, twigs. And he keeps telling me twigs? that I'm his bear and he's a twig. I don't know what that means. Oh, twigs. Wow. Well, bears when they're in the woods. I don't think they had bears I didn't, in Africa. We don't, I keep telling Daddy Glenn we don't have bears in Africa. I don't know why he keeps saying he wants to come here in August and be a bear. Well, you know what it means, like, here in, uh, in Quebec, where uh, Daddy Glenn's from. Well, he was born between Quebec and... Newfoundland and the United States, I think, or that was somebody else. I, I think he was born on a bridge. Right, the International Bridge. Yes. That bears, that when they're shimmying up a tree to get to the honey pot, I mean I mean, honey inside the, a tree, they often break twigs. You know, they, they sure. shimmy up the pole. That's where you get the old political saying in England, you know, uh, uh, climb the greasy pole. Right, oh, right. Yeah. I- and you better beware what, you know, when you get up to the top. <laughs> I've seen Glenn shimmy now, up a pole. Daddy, might not be honey. Daddy Glenn tell me about his greasy pole all the time. Maybe that's what he means since he's the mayor of Manchester. Yeah, you mean oily or greasy? Well, he's the the people's mayor of Manchester. He is not he's technically the people's the, the people's. I mean, he's not technically now, the mayor. Could, he could be referring it's to our birthday gre- today, mm-hmm. and we doing a special soccer tournament by him because my name is Little Meat. We're doing a tournament called Beat the Meat. So Glenn wants everybody to beat the meat. Well, that's very so exciting. If you could beat me in a pantless soccer tournament today for my for my birthday, I'd be very much happy. I know Daddy Glenn have on his show right now. He's doing a whole show about me, and he baked a cake. Yes, and in, in, I, just, so I had such a good time yesterday talking to you, Maddie Connaughton. Yes, it was. And I wanted to call back you, and actually, I you know I only have a few seconds left on my Cricket Wireless account. <laughs> That Daddy Glenn provides me. Oh. So generously, we might add. Yes. Uh, yeah. da- Daddy Glenn is a very generous yes. uh, daddy. And Little Meat is part of the white man's bird. That's right, yeah. yes. So don't. You know, he wants to bring me here. I'm supposed to be coming to his house uh, soon. He tells me he lives in Big Palace in Manchester because he says he likes to be in the Queen City and I'm going to be the prince. <laughs> yeah. That's exciting. It's kind of like a big doll house. Yes, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. 
Although at, at 42, I, I think you, you might be a little uh, little old for him. Well, he's oil. He's been oiled up. Oh, that's true. Yes, he's yes. He's been prepping me. He's been prepping me this whole time. I'm very happy. He te- he know me since I was 14 years old. Wow, no and kidding. He raised me and groomed me and made me the man I am today. He took me away from my mommy and my daddy. My father was a lawyer, <laughs> and my mother actually was a software engineer. And Glenn decided to reach out to me on a uh, a, a sub shop uh, website. That uh, you guys, uh, I never heard of, but he said that it was called Grinder, where you get like sandwiches. And he met me there. That's true. And he took Grindr. me away from my parents. Yeah, that's uh, that is a New England uh, chain, Grinder. Yeah. We're one of the few places that call a Subway sandwich a Grinder. That's right. When you yes. go to, uh, you know, they're heroes like in New York and subs other places. But it's a Grinder here. So in, uh, I go on site. I put, you know, he says he likes oil on his Grinders. So that's why all my pictures, I wear oil. You can even uh, you can give it, even get an app. You just order your Grinder right through the app. and uh, well, That's exciting. Yes, can you get it fully loaded? I think so. Right, right to your door. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Daddy Glenn likes me fully loaded. That's why he got me on that app, and that's why he adopted me since I was 14. Well, that's, uh... So I'm very happy. I'm one of 12 of his kids. I don't know if you knew that Daddy Glenn has 12 of us. He does have a large family. Yeah, you know... Like we all, we're all going to come to New Hampshire, and we're going to have a good time, and we're going to like start up our own little pantless soccer league. You know, it's too bad you weren't here today, because we're having taco... The Taco Festival, which stretches from one, su- the end of Elm Street, because we're the only si- major city that has a, you know, the main drag has two dead ends. Yes. And this just stretches out. You know, it's very exciting. And I re- do you remember the first one where uh, Daddy Glenn, I'm talking to Maddie now, Maddie C., mm. he sent the Honorable Joel Elber out because they were judges. And, you know, you can't cover all 69 Tacos, you know, right. the people, 69 outfits. Locations, have, yes. And that's a true number, 69. Yes. So uh, I wouldn't say Daddy Glenn hoodwinked Joel, but he sent him to, you know, uh, male-oriented bars. Mm-hmm, you know? mm-hmm, yeah. yeah, It was quite exciting for Joel. Mm-hmm. He, he'd never had uh, no. the, uh, you know, mm. uh, the, uh, the, that, the specialty taco. Right. I won't mention the establishment I'm- because... I'm yeah, kind of confused, though, because Daddy Glenn tells me he hates tacos, but he loves hot dog eating contests. Well, uh, this was... He a... always tells me he hates the taco. He said he used to be married to somebody that had tacos, and now he only likes the hot dogs and sausages. Oh, yeah. They lost their... He lost the taco stand sometime after they won that disco dancing contest. Remember? Or was uh, that oh, with yes. his aunt? His oh. auntie. Oh, I'm not sure. Auntie Mame or but, Auntie Dolly or something. But he used to get the uh, sausage crawler from uh, Bill's Donuts all the time. And uh, Joel, remember Joel made a damn fool of himself raving about the tube steak and white gravy taco. Right. Wow. You know, mm. uh, I, uh, you know, I cringed <laughs> when I heard about it. But, yes, you know, yes. Joel is a, is a good natured, a simple soul in many ways. Oh, but right. Maybe mm. we'll find him someday. Yeah. So is Daddy Glenn. He used to Actually, oil himself yeah. up. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. oh, yes. I got to go. Daddy Daddy Glenn be mad at me. I got to go back to his show because he needs to get ratings. He, I hear that you rating? get ratings, Mr. Maddie, but uh, Daddy Glenn needs ratings. So I'm going to go, but I want to God bless you, Maddie C. God bless you, Hopwood. God bless Daddy Glenn. God bless the Americas, and God bless Manchester, New Hampshire. God bless us all, said Tiny Tim, yes. who was a mentor to Glenn uh, R.J. Ouellette. And God bless Little Meat Ouellette. Little Meat. Little Meat, Little meat yes. Yeah. Little Meat. Yes. Little Meat. Raw Meat. Yes. He loves his raw meat. <laughs> yes. You know, he just, he wants to, he tells me he's going to come here in August and eat me up. He wants to eat Little Meat. <laughs> wow, that's exciting. I just say to avoid the tube steak. <laughs> right. Yeah. I, but he we tells already... me that's his favorite dish. I don't know. I gotta go back and play soccer. Bye bye now. Bye All right. bye bye. I tell you the oh, problems wow. we have with these exotic meats here in Manchester. You know, there's the there was the, the flank steak that turned out to be a, 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 a donkey's rear end, which oh, is oh. fitting for the you know the person selling it. Right. The runt. Yes. The runt selling the rum. 
of an ass. Well, that was quite the uh, that was quite the call. All uh, we it's are inspiring. truly we've gone global getting a call all the way from Africa. Well, that was one of the benefits of you hooking up with Glenn J. Olette. He's in over nine. What was it? One hundred ninety nine nations. I wish you wouldn't put it quite that way. What, what do you mean hooking up? But uh, but no, Isn't but I that, understand uh, what you mean. Yes. Behind the gr- the grinder app, they'll hook you up oh, with the subway. No, we've never gotten uh, grinders together, Glenn R. J. Willett and I. What about the uh, leather jacket? Oh well, that's another. Uh, that's from another lifetime ago, really. Oh yeah, the dry cleaning <laughs> establishment and all that.